The Hunt County Sheriff's account of what happened as officers tried to restrain a pregnant woman differs from what she says happened. Deputies arrested Deanna Robinson at a home in Quinlan last month. Home security camera captures one of the deputies punching Robinson, but the sheriff's account of what happened differs from Robinson's account. She was 38 weeks pregnant at the time. Fox 4's Natalie Solis was at the sheriff's news conference this afternoon where he talked about what happened. Natalie. Well, Clarice, the sheriff did offer up a scenario of what could have happened based on uh, what he saw watching that video. Although from what we understand, that possible scenario, uh, there is nothing to back that up in this documentation so far. Let's go ahead and take another look at that video. Sheriff Randy Meek says it appears to him that Deanna Robinson, who was 30 weeks, 38 weeks pregnant at the time, was trying to reach for the deputy's gun and that that deputy was likely punching to keep that from happening. He says the deputy told him she'd already hit him in the face and had managed to remove part of his ammo belt in the struggle. The deputy also claims Robinson was not handcuffed at the time, but in the process of being cuffed, she insists she was already in handcuffs. But when we pressed the sheriff and asked if the deputy told him specifically that Robinson had gone for his gun, the answer was no. What he said he was describing is simply a narrative that he sees as being possible based on watching the video. Now, depending on what the investigation determines. Then he will be prosecuted to the fullest if a criminal act has occurred. <clears throat> However, if the evidence shows that my deputy did nothing wrong, I assure you I will back him 100%. What were you trying to do? Protect my baby is exactly what I was trying to do. That I, Were you they, trying to hurt anyone else? No, ma'am. Now, the sheriff was also asked why Robinson was not charged with uh, trying to take the deputy's weapon, if that's in fact what may have happened. And he said that charge is something that they are looking at. Robinson does face three other charges related to this. Now, there are other discrepancies as well. Robinson says she was not allowed to look at the um, order to remove her son when they showed up at her door, which is how this all started. The sheriff says uh, that did happen, that she and or her parents were allowed to look at that order. Um, he also says that this deputy on the job is on the job rather with no restrictions while the Texas Rangers are picking up this investigation. Clarice. Natalie, the video that we've seen is, is a short clip. It's only about 30 seconds. Did Sheriff Meeks indicate there's other video evidence mm -hmm. from the arrest? Right. Well, the sheriff says that they were able to obtain four additional clips, uh, but there is a four minute gap between the 30 second clip uh, that we see and the next one. So it does not sound as if uh, this these other clips are going to be very helpful in that investigation because of the uh, the length of time that passed between them. Clarice. All right, Natalie. Thank you.